Foundation, creating an army of one million artisans. HF Foundation, HFF, is a subsidiary of HF Group. Our vision is to facilitate and catalyze industry-relevant and sustainable practical skills required by the building and construction industry through the creation of one million artisans for Kenya Vision 2030. Housing Finance Group had started this uh, foundation because of the need to connect with the communities. When you get to Nairobi, to the counties, it's a construction site. But then we realized that the demand is big, the supply is big, but they are not talking. A workforce triangle looks like this. So we've got this triangle divided into three. The first is you need one professional in a construction site supervising for four clerk of works and who is also responsible for 16 skilled artisans and technicians. Those are the people who work with their hands. In Kenya, we are this way. That we, the, this triangle divided into three, we've got 16 professionals supervising four clerk of works. This, this one has not changed yet. We still have institutions that are giving us clerk of works, those are diploma students, to one skilled artisan. That's dangerous. We value diversity, each one of them. From writing the curriculum to funding, or access to funding, to placement or creating the markets, we are all inclusive. This journey um, of research or getting to know the needs that are existing so that we can achieve came out as three, three main things and we call them the, our three pillars. One of them is on education and training. That's how we came up with the competency-based education and training or what we call a CBET curriculum. Instead of taking youth to school, we are taking school to the youth. Every site becomes an institution. The second one is access to funding, both to the TVET students and to the TVET institutions themselves and to the artisans. And number three is creating markets that work for the artisans. It's good for you to take me to school, to train me or skill me or buy a toolbox, but uh, where do I go? How do I sell my wear? How do I make people know that I'm out here? Or placement, we call it the Last Mile Initiative. And that has been our biggest impact. In February 2013, HF Foundation was officially launched by former President Mwai Kibaki. The partnership made HF Group the first private firm to spearhead a Vision 2030 flagship project through its newly formed HF Foundation. This project is a commendable undertaking that will provide Kenyans with decent and affordable homes and consequently support entrepreneurship as well as the employment of our young people. From this trailblazing launch, HF Foundation kept up its momentum by signing a strategic collaboration with the Vision 2030 Delivery Board. Under the agreement, HF Foundation will directly work with relevant ministries, departments and agencies charged with the implementation of the Vision 2030 flagship projects. The success of the Alliance saw Technical Vocational Education and Training TIVET Act 2013 shift TIVETs from time-bound curriculum-based training to flexible and competency-based training. This project alone in Comarok will provide jobs for 1,500 direct jobs for youth for the next four to five years. Pillar 1, facilitating relevant technical and 21st century readiness training. TIVET curriculum was outdated, time-bound and academically focused. This meant that an aspiring artisan would not have the relevant academic background, the time, funds or even the composite grades to access these institutions. 
the curriculum had proven to be more theory-based than practical, which is an ill fit for modern industry demands. It is good to have graduates who have been told how things are done or taught how things are done. But it is better for us to have graduates who know how to do things. My first training was in the project management department. I was trained on disbursing money, rating the level of completion of the building. So that equipped me a lot in estimations of the buildings. So even in my, my works that I do now, I can be able to estimate that I'm 20% done, 10% done, or the building will take maybe up to September next year to completion. In recognition of this issue, HF Foundation and the building and construction industry stakeholders developed new occupational standards. These standards set and clarified what should be expected from qualified artisans in different trades. The occupational standards are 1. Pipe fitter Electric wireman Split air conditioning fitter Metal scaffolder Concrete mason Block layer, roof carpenter, electric arc welder, wall painter, and steel fabricator. The development of standards was guided by the government and handed over to CADCC, Curriculum Development Accreditation Certification Council, for curriculum development. These standards are also the building blocks that guided CBET, Curriculum Based Educational Training, also referred to as CIBET. HFF then introduced and rolled out CIBIT programs in the public and private institutions. Programs such as Tivits on Wheels, taking the practical and theory to the sites, and Earn and Learn, where artisans work during the day and learn in the evening. To solve the theory practical mismatch, we offer internships on ongoing projects within the HFG ecosystem. This course we are teaching, we are calling it CIBIT, because it is competence based type of learning whereby a student will learn about 90% is practical, that is, means it's hands-on, and 10 or 15 minutes is theory part of it. Because mostly they need theory part of it instead of practice. That is their work. They, they are supposed to be competent masons or plumbers so that tomorrow they'll be employed as fundis. Mostly 90% of them are unskilled. So we are giving them a, uh, that skill to be called skilled. This has catered for over 160 internships. When I completed my diploma, I only knew how things I done. But when I joined HL Foundation, now I know how to do things. So on behalf of my, stu my fellow students, I'm going to say that I'm going to chance to improve my youth. Pillar 2. A lot of students in Tibet institutions struggle to access funding for their education. This contributed hugely to the high dropout rate. Similarly, artisans face the challenge of affording the tools or working capital for their trade. In support of our second pillar, Your Excellency, and that is on funding, Housing Finance Foundation has recently signed a partnership MOU with the High Education Loans Board, HELP, that will enable students in technical institutions access education loans. HF Foundation has set out to improve financial access for Tivit students, institutions and purchase tools in partnerships with local suppliers and give working capital to artisans who are looking to expand. I was in the panel that came up with the Kiva. We drafted how they can easily access the monies in the address of your background so long as you are pursuing and uh, you are in a technical school that is a Tibet based schools. Really what I've learned from, from Alpaisa River and Housing Finance is a lot. One, the, the Housing Finance uh, financers, they give us a loan which we manage use that money to, to purchase some tools which I'm using them right now inside here. He foundation in my idea Sanama artisans. Sababu if it weren't for them if I wanted to register my company, I would have to register my company. 
na ningetaka pia ku maybe ku advance masomo yangu eh, ya interior design sababu so, si hata kusema nimesoma kila kitu mambo inaenda ki advance nikataka ku advance au go to hf na watani fund watani somesha pillar 3 The case is often that due to the informal nature of acquiring manpower on sites and projects skilled artisans do not always have the networks to place themselves in employment this is mirrored by the potential employees who struggle to find skilled and qualified artisans as a response to this hf foundation creates markets that work for artisans we seek to create a platform that would place tiver trainees and artisans into various networks through employment opportunities as well as entrepreneurship opportunities to be a bridge between the world of work and the world of education tivet and particularly some of the projects they roll out eh? the target population is the youth you realize that some of these youths they are unemployed because of maybe lack of skill so when when tivet comes in eh, you realize that it's trying to bridge that it's trying to reduce that problem eh? and by offering that person the skill you are empowering that person so you are changing a life because now you are giving that person a tool to go out there use his hands use the skill i've given him to earn a living HFF also takes to task helping shift social perceptions from seeing artisans as the 3Ds dirty dangerous difficult to the 3Es employable entrepreneurial and effective to understand that their trade is a profession to be respected to finance foundation wamejaribu sana kubadilisha maoni ya mafundi na public kwa sababu mtu akienda kwa kazi hatakuwa naambiwa ati ameenda kama mtu wa mkono kwa sababu hii ni atakuwa anasema mimi kama muscle ama welder ama steel fixer niko na grade ni masomo yangu na nimesomea si ati unakuja kuita mtu wa mkono Le, my parents had alikuwa na shida nilifika tu for one nika drop iko sana sana we inanisaidia sana i have known everything that tools equipment secondly nimejua how to mix the mortar and uh, aggregate as your house pipe vitu siku anajua at least kama spirit level siku anajua at least now i have that knowledge ah uh, maisha yangu pale nyuma ilikuwa ni ni mtu kushukiwa kila wakati mtaani of which simisi mtu mbaya ama watu wengine wanaweza kuona waseme wewe kijana ni kijana mpoa but most of them mndo ikuangalia kuna tu just idol kitu kipotea you are the first suspect kuangalia mtaani ebo angalia kwa mtu fulani but saa hizi maisha yangu naweza sema imebadilika sana cause ni kwa job kuanzia asubuhi mpaka jioni saa moja. hata kitu kiapeni mtaani mbaya kuna mtu anaweza kushukwa ti Jose alikuwa home kila itakuwa watu wengi wanakutetea Jose akuwa Jose akuwa angi Jose ako, ako job so kwangu inakuwa hii ni kitu ambayo ime change life yangu sana if it was not for the hf singekuwa pale nimefika wameni to far sana it is the most interesting thing that happened for life yangu na bado na hope kwenda far now all our partners are chosen very very careful it's like minded the people who have recognized that journey that we've come through and they want to be part of it we need an army people with courage people with force with discipline you know with purpose with a passion wanting to go to invert this triangle and put it back like this where it's supposed to go HF Foundation creating an army of 1 million artisans